Hello, beautiful, and welcome to my Summer Trends Wantable Style Box. This is one of the amazing edits that Wantable punts out. And I'm gonna tell you the sole reason that I got this box was because of one t-shirt. There's this brown t-shirt. It says y'all on it. The L's are cowboy boots and I wanted it. And I went on their site. I'm pretty sure it's not in here because, not because I peeked, because it won't let me peek, but because I went and I found the shirt and it only looks like it goes up to an extra large. So maybe they found another y'all shirt. Maybe I'll find another y'all shirt if it's not here. But I mean, like literally that is the reason <laughs> that I decided to get this uh, summer trends edit. And y'all, I will tell you, the only summer trend that I really, really am looking forward to right now is some of this heat cooling off in my air conditioner working appropriately. We had people out like a month ago to work on our, our air conditioner and they replaced the um, condenser coils. I think it's condenser coils. There's two different C words. Um, there's like condenser and compressor. I think compressors outside, condensers in the, the attic, but they replaced them on both. It cost a very small fortune. And I mean, it's been like a month. I've been with family dealing with some medical stuff and I came back and in my hot house, it was hot. Like I said that it was 78 degrees and y'all, I'm a 72 degree girl. <laughs> and then I came out to like next to my stairway by my daughter's room and I looked up and it said 88 up there. And I was like, kiddo, why have you not said anything? And she walks down wearing a sweatshirt, y'all, a sweatshirt. <laughs> and it was 88 degrees. <laughs> so, <sighs> alas, okay. <laughs> That's the trend I want. Lulu just got all of her little hair shaved off to be um, a Texas summer dog. It makes her a little bit sad. I think that we are gonna go ahead and open this Wantable box because I wanna see if probably stylist Meredith did some miracles and got me my y'all shirt. We'll see. Okay, y'all. Y'all shirt was brown. I don't see it in here, but I do see some really cute colors. We got some denim. I've got some like khaki looking thing going on. I've got what looks like the black culottes in like a yellow. There's a cool, maybe ikat print. There's some pretty stuff going on in here. I love that it is styled for Meredith. I always say that all the style boxes have something that really stands out for them. Wantable, it is absolutely the themed edits. Um, I love that you've got seven items that you can get that 25% discount if you buy five or more. I've had one box that was just absolutely stellar. That was the, um, the VIP edit. It had, I mean, I probably, probably could have purchased the entire box, but um, everything else I've, I normally buy one, one to two pieces, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, like I told y'all, my upstairs AC is out. It's, it's like working the downstairs units, like working overtime. I'm probably sweating. My dog is over here, like trying to figure out what's going on. So he starts seeing like sweat spots on here. <laughs> Pay no attention. Oh, look. They have changed. Normally they send me like a little white envelope. They wanted to make returning stuff even cuter. And um, it says, see you again soon. And oh yes, wonderful, you sure will. <laughs> they know who they're talking to. Okay, this is what shows me that I've got the Summer Trend Style Edit. And my stylist is on the inside. Oh, wow. Okay, my stylist is Lauren. Lauren, I'm sure that Lauren is fantastic, but Lauren is not Meredith. Meredith and I had a connection. It looks like I've got one, two, three, four items that I requested. The little ones with the little hearts next to them, you requested. And so what the requesting actually happens in the stream, the stream's pretty cool. Whenever you choose a style edit, it, the, like it'll say, wait, you're not done, last step. And the last step is like going through the stream and they give you kind of a little curated section of you to, you can do three things. You can ignore it, like let it scroll back. So everything that you're gonna see on the screen, I've ignored. I've neither said request or decline because it's not bad enough that I wanna decline it and it's not good enough that I wanna request it. Sometimes I really like it, but the, it's a little bit cost prohibitive. So I'm like, ah, uh, I'll leave it on there. But in the event that it, that it came to me, I would not be upset, but I'm certainly not gonna request a $108 dress. So I've got four things that I requested and y'all, it looks like I'm trying to try and real hard to not look at prices and you know, I'm a peeker. <laughs> but one of the items is 29 bucks. I like that. I, I'm all right with you, stylist Lauren. Get in here. All right, so um, I'm gonna scoot you back. We're gonna have Graham read Meredith's note. I'm gonna try a few other things. Uh, Graham is obviously gonna be sticking around. Graham is my favorite CG British man. And y'all, everything is elevated with a British accent, but I know that Graham is irritating a few of you. And so I'm gonna see what I can do to kind of shake it up after this. I gotta think about it. Put on my 
my creative brain because <laughs> it took me a while to come up with Graham. <laughs> and y'all, I mean, I think, you know, like I said, everything is elevated with the British accent. I wonder what it's like to be in the UK. I know that some of y'all are in the UK just to be around all those Oh, British accents all day. Hmm. I don't know how you do it. How you do it, girls? Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm scooting you back. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna see what Lauren has to say about these clothes. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Graham read Lauren's note and uh, tell us about these clothes. Hi, Meredith. I'm so excited you are tapping into summer trends with this limited edition edit. I've curated seven effortless styles that will let you dress for the summer you want this year. I saw that you were looking for some white pants, so let me know what you think of these jag jeans. Fabulous vacation vibes are what these culottes give you. Breezy wide legs and cool fabric are just what you need. Pair with a white top for all of your get-togethers. Let me know what you think of these summer perfect dresses. I cannot wait to hear what you think. Enjoy, Lauren. Okay, it's funny because these yellow pants I have in black hanging right here that I, that I got from, I think, my last Wantable box. And I love them, but I don't know if I need to. We're going to pull in. I might change my mind. Okay, I have taken a cursory glance at this, but I'm going to put it all out of my brain so we can open these up with fresh eyes. <laughs> all right. Oh, look. You guys, I have actually gotten this top in um, maybe a kind of coral color. It didn't fit super well. It's the one that toward the beginning, it's like it had puff sleeves and reminded me of Anne of Green Gables. Like, you know, whenever Matthew gave her the, the puff sleeve dress and she's like, ah, oh, they're the puffiest of the best because that was like her idea of romance. So what I love about these is they actually have a little flare ruffle underneath that you can kind of see that's built in. And that's what gives it a little bit of body up here. I think that it just wasn't quite broad enough for me. I love the design. We've got some like crazy loose little hairs hanging out, but it looks like they're just, looks like, pay no attention to the, to the, to the loose little hairs. They, they really aren't anything. It's, it's like cut off pieces that, that came right out. But there's a really pretty little design right here. This top is by a love story, y'all. I love me some love stories. And it is a 3X. It's a really pretty kind of mauve color, which I don't know, it might do better than the coral. It might not. I think that the coral felt like it wasn't quite broad enough. This, the body of this is very much like a t-shirt and, um, and then it has the sheer arms. So if it fits right, it could be a kind of perfect shirt. We'll see. I think that this was what was the cheapest item in there, but remember we're not thinking about it. This is kind of a, I don't know, burnt orange or rust color cardigan. It is just like a slinky little t-shirty cardigan. It's not that buttery soft feel that some things are, but I think it would be nice to just like throw on if you're going from the crazy hot outside to inside. Like y'all today, it's supposed to get up to 101. I think it's like 96 or 97 outside right now. And so it's crazy hot. But let me tell you, you walk into a store and it's going to be 70 or 72 degrees. And so that's whenever it'd be nice to go from, you know, your <laughs> spaghetti straps, your little whatever this is, and throw some kind of little layer on as long as it coordinated. I don't know. It could probably coordinate a little bit today. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We'll see how this does. Oh, no, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you. I'll tell you what it's made of. This is by Emerald and it is a 3X. And y'all, I can see the entire inside of this shirt or this top, but I cannot find the tag. Like, I mean, I can see every single seam unless it's hiding somewhere in the sleeve. Yeah. I don't know what this guy's made of. And, and it's not gonna tell me. I don't. That's kind of weird. I mean, I don't ever just not see a tag, huh? That's very odd. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's not here. Like it, not like I just spent two minutes. I mean, I, I've touched every single seam in this, um, in this little jacket. It's not there, but it is, um, an emerald and it's a three X. I love this color. It's kind of a, kind of a teal. It is just a nice summer, Hold on, I think there's someone at my door. All right, I had to pay my AC, guys. Hopefully, things cool down very soon. <laughs> We're not there yet, but, you know, I understand that uh, things take time. I don't expect miracles, <laughs> but I do really like it to be 72 degrees, like, year-round, always, in my house. Like, I, that's just one of the things I like. And it's okay if you don't like that. That's what I like. I like it to be cool, like, nice and cold. I want to be able to cuddle up with a blanket, 
no matter the weather outside. <laughs> okay, so this is a really pretty, um, just long summer dress. Uh, it's by Love Appella. I've gotten a couple things by Love Appella. I, I don't, I can't guarantee you that I've kept them, but I've, I've definitely received some things by Love Appella. I cannot bring one to mind. It's, they say the color is jade and it is a 3X. This is a super similar material to that, um, to that little, uh, what's the thing that I just picked up? Oh my gosh, cardigan. Sorry, all the heat's getting in my brain. <laughs> it's very similar to the cardigan. Or it's not like a buttery soft, but it is, it's nice. So it's saying to machine wash, cold, delicate, lay flat, made in Mexico. All right, so this is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. Okay, so I mean, I think it's pretty. I think this is a fantastic color for the summer. Love Appella 3X, I like you. Okay, this is a super pretty print. Oh my gosh, y'all. Right off the bat, this is my favorite thing so far. I really like it. I'm sure that means that it's not one of the items that's on sale. <laughs> This is kind of, I call it an, I say E-cat, an E-cat print, but I don't know if that's actually the way you pronounce it because I've only seen it writ written like A-K, a -K -A no, I-K-A-T, <laughs> E-cat, um, I-cat, but um, it actually is almost kind of the mix between like an I-cat and it's a, it looks like a damask actually more than that. Whenever I saw it folded up, I thought it looked like an e-cat. This is by Franza and it is a 52 inch. <laughs> hmm. It says, no, it says five size is a 52. I'm guessing that that is the equivalent of a 22. I'm guessing maybe that's, I don't know. It says it's natural fluid fashion, now eco enhanced. Oh, it's made through 100% sustainable forestry, low water consumption, fast biodegradability and traceability of the source. Oh, look, it's got a big old tag and how smart they sewed an extra button on there. Okay, it's 100% viscose. How neat and sustainably farmed. All right, you're looking better and better. I think that this fronds is very pretty. Size 52 doesn't sound very nice, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so these are just like my other culottes, which means that I'm gonna love the way that they are. All right, I'm gonna tell you all the truth on the culottes. I sent them back. <laughs> Okay, because I was like, you know, these are a little bit too expensive for what they are. But then whenever I went back, I decided that I really wanted them and I got a credit. It did not tell me who had made their first wantable order, but thank you so much if that was you. I really appreciate it. And so when I did and I got that credit, I was like, you know what? I really, like, I do regret sending those pants back. There are a few things that I kind of regret sending back. Like one um, were these pants, which um, I'm not, not regretting anymore. They're right here. Like I said, I don't know that I need two of them. Oh, we're going to try them on. I'm going to want them. It's going to be sad. It's going to be sad. She called these white pants in the letter. They are totally khaki. Like, very much. They're little khaki capris. They're slot on. There's, um, they're, the, the pockets in the back are, are clearly fake. They're by Jag. I think they'll probably be cute on. Um, everyone probably needs something like this as a little summer staple. And I actually don't have it. But, but I don't think they're white. See? They're khaki. But they're cute. Cute cute and khaki. And she's listening to my note, except for the y'all shirt. She didn't even address it. She's probably like, um, we don't have it in that size. So I'm not going to say that because it might make her sad. It did make me sad. <laughs> These silver jeans have a button front. Y'all, I'm obsessed with button front jeans. And y'all, there is not a stitch of distressing on these bad boys. Like none. And they kind of flare out at the bottom. Have we found the perfect jeans? Time will tell. And not much time. Okay. So these are, oh, these are a size 22. The length is a 31. I don't think the length of a 31 is going to work, but we shall see. It says they're eco-friendly, suki, curvy fit, mid-rise, slim boot cut. So, silver jeans. I don't know if 31 is going to work, but we shall see. Yeah, without further ado, I think we need to try some of these bad boys on. Okay, I went with heels. I uh, did so despite the length of the pants. We'll discuss that in a second. Let's talk about the top. I think this is really pretty. It's not like crazy soft but it's like a super elevated t-shirt it's tight but it's not so clingy that i think that it is it's not so clingy that i feel self-conscious is kind of what i'm saying i love the sleeves i feel like anna green gables they are the puffiest and the best except if they were baby blue they'd probably be better <laughs> you know? then then i could go in and trade it for 50 pounds of brown sugar and get to, to, okay i'm gonna stop talking um, i love anna green gables but i think that this is really um, a pretty top. I, I love the jeans until they get like, 
you know, mid shin. So I, I really, really like the button fly. Y'all can see it. It has some nice deep pockets. There is not a stitch of distressing on these bad boys. Like I'm not showing anyone my underwear. There's no chance of some stranger in public knowing what kind of panties I'm wearing. It's like 100% approved of all of this stuff going on right here, okay? I, um, I think that it does good things to my back, but 31 inch inseam. And I'm really struggling with the length on jeans. I, I'm gonna, I'll take off these heels so you can see. But yeah, I mean, if I put tennis shoes on, it would be the same thing, right? I have yet to get a pair of jeans, like actual jeans, not crop or caprice, that are long enough for me. And I have definitely told them they make you put in your height. Some of them make you put in your weight, which, whew, let's hope that doesn't go anywhere. And, <laughs> and then your size. And then they all ask if you want tall or extended length. And so um, I don't know if that's just not being looked at or if there's nothing available, but... It is a little bit irritating because I got really excited about these jeans, which is, I don't know, that's neither here nor there. So, love the top, love the jeans, but they're not long enough, so they're out. Okay, next one. Okay, I actually think this is pretty cute. These are the little jag jeans, but now, y'all, they are tight. They almost feel like they're a size too tight. I threw on a balloon chic top. It, it's not like crazy amounts of muffin top, but I would be conscious of it all day long if I wore it. And then... This um, this little cardigan, the little Rust Guy by Emerald, is fine. It doesn't really do anything for me, but again, I mean, it, it's fine. I'm wearing it with little heels that I could probably wear uh, with it to work. And yeah, I think that, I think the pants are cute. They're a, they're a little bit snug. Um, we're going to go to the next one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all, I feel so awesome in these pants. They feel like they got some built-in air conditioner. <laughs> I actually wore the black ones on a road trip, which crazy, but I love how they feel tailored because they're sewn here and then it expands into a little pleat. And then this front band feels dressy because it is a solid band and then it goes into a smocked back, which gives you plenty of stretch room, right? This color is so cute. I paired it with a navy top. It's a bloom sheet top that just kind of has a little cow neck going. And the length is awesome. I really don't have any notes. Now, let me tell you, I, I know I said earlier that I sent the black ones back. The reason I sent them back is because I felt like they were a little highly priced. I, I don't know. I, I can't exactly remember what they were. I'm going to say that they were in like the 70s. They might even be higher than that. And it felt like they were so high, but then I regretted it and I ordered them. I don't know what to do. All right, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna try on both dresses and maybe I'll complicate life further. All right, y'all, I think this is lovely. This is the Love Appella. The, the like long waistband and then this these pleats right here do an amazing job of kind of smoothing out and disguising my problem areas, okay? I think that it's very pretty. These are just some like comfortable naturalizer heels, but it is very long. I'm 5'10 and this bad boy, look, can y'all see how, how long that dress is? Like, this is incredibly rare. But note to those people who I've talked to who are like in, you know, a 5'2". Um, this dress probably isn't going to do it for you. I think it's great. I'll put it on with my um, my little Clark. Totally works with that too. I think that it makes it a more casual run and pick up my daughter. Um, we're about to run to go grab some lunch. This would be a perfect, in fact, I could grab lunch in any of these outfits. I could grab lunch in sweatpants if I so felt like it, but I don't. <laughs> so yeah, I think that this is really pretty. The color is beautiful. Now it does remind me a lot of a 41 Hawthorne red dress that I got from Stitch Fix a few weeks ago. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to want two in the same silhouette, but we'll see. Okay. <laughs> First impressions, y'all. Winner. I think this dress is gorgeous. It uh, feels... It feels like linen. I mean, it's a viscose. It is, uh, so it's a natural fiber. It is sustainably farmed. Um, I like the color. I like that my arms are nice and covered. I don't feel self-conscious there. This sash was actually tied in um, like the, the tag back here. It, so I don't, I didn't feel belt loops. I still don't feel belt loops. <laughs> 
but I tied it right up here where the waist is. And there is a seam that goes right under the bust. And so I just kind of put it up there, which is where I think it goes. Now, if you look, whenever it's off, it's very blousey and big, uh, which I honestly don't mind that either. Lord knows this is going to be the most expensive item in the bag. But uh, boy, do I think it's cute. All right, I think we're going to come over here and we're going to talk Dallas. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> okay, this was actually a really pretty good box. I was very impressed. I think that we ended on a great note. So, let's see. This is the one that I wore right there at the end that I thought was very nice on. This is the, uh, it's by Franza. It's the Ar the Iria, Iria, I-R-I-A, dress in navy blazer. So, it's the Iria dress in navy blazer. It's a size 3X, which is a 22 to 24 and hmm, it's $112. I knew it was going to be expensive. It's the one that is all natural fibers, sustainably farmed. 112 is high. I might have to, I have to do some thinking on that, but it was definitely what I thought was like the showstopper of the box. So yeah, we'll see what else is in the box and definitely consider it. All right, the love story top that's in Plumberry. This was a 3X 2224. This one is on sale. It was initially um, MSRP at $54 and it's on sale for $40.50, which I don't really think is that bad. Now, tops are not something that I really, really need. I have recently made a huge Bloom Chic order and so I've got tops for days, but I do think this is cute and I think $40.50 is not bad. Okay, this is the Emerald Color Block in Rust and this, uh, this really just didn't do a whole lot for me. It's a size 3X. Um, it just feels, oh, y'all, I'm gonna be honest, it feels very cheaply made. I, I don't like whenever a top doesn't have the care instruction tag. I don't know why it wouldn't. I thought that was some kind of regulation, but I could totally be wrong, but it does feel cheaper to me unless it is something that you are purchasing that is handmade and then it's more expensive. I know life is full of contradictions, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. So this one is, Ooh, this was originally, this was originally $58 and it is on sale for $29. That's a great deal, but just because the price is awesome doesn't mean that I like it more. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I think that it's cute. I think the price is awesome, but I just don't love it. Um, ideally, I'd love it to have pockets. I think the color's fine. I just am not crazy about the makeup. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? That that $29 and that it, it makes it very much like in the Nadine West realm of items and prices. So, and and if that was for if that was at Nadine West, I'd be like, oh yeah, heck, this is amazing. I'm gonna get it. So next are these Jag Jeans Maddie Capris. These were the ones that were tight. They were 22W. They're in stone, so they're not white. They're in stone. I think that they're great for the summer. They're a nice piece that you could wear just about anywhere. You could wear it on a boat. You could wear it at the office. You can wear it picking up your kid. Options are limitless. <laughs> so this is also on sale. It was originally $74 and it's on sale for $55.50, which is really not a bad price. I've just got to consider it. I don't love it. So there's probably really no reason to get it. But what, I mean, it's a perfectly good staple piece. It just runs a jag small. All right, this dress by Love Appella is very summer, very pretty. Um, it is $22.24 and it's $78. I, you know, if I was going to buy this for $78, I would think that the other one that's $112 is close enough. And I think this is beautiful, but I have one in the same silhouette that I don't know that I need another, but y'all, it is really pretty. Y'all, my silver jeans, these are power stretch, Suki boot, Suki slim boot cut. There's all kinds of words going on in there. I love the whiskering. I love the button front. I love the fact that there was no like panty peekaboo situation going on over here. What I did not love is that they did not give me another inch and a half on my seam. <laughs> I'm a tall girl and I tell them I'm a tall girl and I need tall things and that's okay. Well, it's really not okay. <laughs> it just means that they're sending me jeans that I can't try on, but it is what it is. I'm sending them back. These could be the perfect jean had they been a little taller. Um, but I do think they're well constructed. I think that silver jeans, one that I could like in the future, in the event that I ever get one that fits appropriately, that doesn't have a distressing rod at the pockets. All right, last but not least. Oh, y'all, this guy is $74. And I truly don't know that I need two pairs of culottes that have the same print but are different colors. And in all honesty, if I'd gotten both of them together, I might keep the yellow and send back the black, but that is not the way that things happened. <laughs> so I actually ordered a few pairs of culottes. I ordered one from Lane Bryant. I ordered one 
from um, Amazon, and I think that I ordered one from Bloom Chic, maybe even one from Shein, and um, I just wanted to do kind of a comparison, and now that I've got this in, um, so just so you know, the way that I film, like, I get these boxes in, and I try and film them right away, because I want to try and film them, edit them, it normally takes me two days to edit, get them out to you, and then have that day of getting some opinions, that kind of thing, and sending them back. It's really difficult with Stitch Fix because they have a three-day window instead of the five-day. But I have ordered a lot of other things. Like I've got, I've got a, an order from Shein. I've got an order from Bloom Chic. I have an order from Torrid. I have an order from Lane Bryant. Well, those, since I don't have that like hard three or five-day deadline, I keep putting on the back burner. And the back burner actually means my chair over there. <laughs> my poor husband. <laughs> and so, so I, I might just go ahead and pull those out and you might see them now and then also see them in those um, haul videos because, and I say now, whenever I, I might go ahead while I have this, if I decide to send it back, do a comparison of the culottes. Yeah, because I think that that's um, pretty interesting. I, I don't know if culottes are in style, but I've been getting them from places. So I'm going to say they're in style. Haven't seen a lot of people out wearing them, but I don't go out all the time. <laughs> No one's walked in my office in culottes, but that doesn't mean anything. And so, so yeah, but I, I do think that these are super cute. They felt so nice on. They are $74, and I don't know that, I, I mean, I, that's what I had such a hard time justifying that $74 with the black ones. I have such a hard time justifying the $74 with these. Uh, and because of the $74 with already having the same print, I don't know that I need them. So that was a whole lot to tell you that. Um, about these but yeah my top my top three would probably be um, these culottes that <clears throat> the really pretty dress uh, this pretty dress this blue dress culottes then in a sending order we go from least to the to the best and let me see what would happen if i actually purchased all of these if i've actually purchased these five to get the coupon so if i were to get all five of these that is um, 55 50 40 50 74 the teal is or the jade is 78 and then 112 that would come to 360 dollars so 360 dollars and then if i get i, I think earlier i said 25 percent discount that's stitch fix this is a 20 percent discount if you buy five six or seven items so that 20 percent discount would be 72 dollars off so I mean, $72 off is pretty awesome. That's, that's honestly kind of like getting my culottes for free. But that would be my total of $288. With that, I get my $20 styling credit, so it'd be $260. I'm looking at $260 versus just getting the blue dress, which would be $112 minus the $20, which would be like $92. So um, I don't know. What would y'all do? I don't know that I need all of these items, but it's. I think that it's nice to look at the numbers and see what is available there are some great pieces in here all right hey thank y'all for watching i'm gonna see you in the next one mm -hmm.